the figures here. United Kingdom, 0.47%. Federal Republic of Germany, 0.85%. Israel, 0.6%. Iceland, 0.63%. Norway, 0.97%. Spain. Yes, I've got the olive oil. Have you got the block and tap? <laughs> now, just remind me, it's the second left off the Stretton Highway. Yeah? Okay, see you then. Luxembourg, 1.25%. <clears throat> no, I will not give way to the Honourable Member for Halton Price. I've got a lot more statistics for this house. This house doesn't want your statistics. This house needs your statistics like it needs another guy, Fawkes. <laughs> 0.75%. Holland, 0.89%. Denmark, 0.77%. Oh, shut up! This is even more mind-numbing than the Eurovision Song Contest. France. Ah, you said France. Sit down. If I've said France twice, it's because it's a very important country. Oh, ha, 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 ha. That's supposed to be a joke, isn't it? Except I don't notice Mr Deputy Speaker doing much laughing, do you? Order. It is now one o'clock in the morning, and for the past 82 minutes, we have been listening to the Honourable Member for Birmingham Stetchford, a depressingly dreary little constituency, which is <laughs> droning on and on about how we don't give enough foreign aid. Well, I say we give too much. Particularly to, to tin-pot little dictators who aren't even decently grateful. If we have to give our money away to foreigners, then I say we should give it to pro-British tin pot dictators. Yeah. <laughs> we should aid our allies. Like the, uh, the brave little nation of St. James. This loyal little country which offered its services to Britain during the Falklands conflict. Why don't you go live in the Falklands? Oh, the Mogadon's worn off now, has it? <laughs> <laughs> the brave little James in 1982 offered their island as a strategic staging post. That they proved to be in the wrong ocean wasn't their fault, <laughs> but the cruel trick of geography. And yet, what do these proud people receive in terms of aid? Not a farthing. Not a farthing. And yet here is a struggling little country that has not taken the communist path. That, indeed, is so keen to encourage foreign investment that the Bank of St. James offers 25% interest, tax-free, on foreign deposits. 25%. 25% tax-free. 25% tax-free. Is there any likelihood of them opening a branch in my constituency? <laughs> Mr. Catchpole, the trees don't have branches in your constituency. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.